Hey everybody, I am back. We workshopped a lot on stream today. I, I now have a mental model. I know you're scared, but I now have a mental model for how to succeed on this weekly. Not succeed, mm, let's be a panicking noob. Not succeed like guaranteed 10 wins every time. I don't know if we're ever gonna be in that place in Super Auto Pets ever again. Quite frankly, the, the level of competition is too high. But at least some respectability. I can have a plan. So I actually have come to respect the frog, believe it or not. Here, I'll take one of these. Big Duck is not the plan. It's just the plan for right now. Then we get to level two. Obviously, the next step is if you just happen to get like a puppy or a dog, then you're off to the races. You have a strategy you can lean into. Otherwise, we gotta, we gotta take a look. And you know what? I would say early. Let's take a jellyfish just for that extra one one. I feel like a bear is like, it's, it's functional. Why not? And then roll me once. I see nothing of value. I'm gonna make um, a lateral move. Honestly, I would take a swan. As, as much as I think a bat can be good, the bear already overwrites one piece of equipment. That is maybe, you know, that's not, I mean, as good as overwriting more than one piece of equipment, to be honest with you, but um, it's at least doing something in a similar vein for us. Um, well, we lose this, but just barely. The swan, I think, the extra money allows us to lean into scaling via food, which is not always otherwise available for us. Is scaling, that is. Okay, while we're here, we're gonna go, I guess, super big duck. And I'm still okay with this. This team does not look amazing yet, but we're still in the, the infancy. We got nothing to worry about yet. We need a, a long-term future, though. It would be a great time to get a couple of levels. It would be a great time to get an identity. Or just get some good stats. I kind of feel like in the new world, you take a puppy. Even though it's late, the stats you can get out of a puppy without having readily other available options seem acceptable for us. I think that that's pretty nice. I, I don't care for a porcupine, and I'll be honest with you, I wish that I did, but I, I simply don't. I'm going sickle mode. I don't say that lightly. This is not how I thought that this would go down, but for now, sure, two puppies. Level two puppy is, is very useful. We've got a unique opportunity to try two puppies instead. Will it work? I don't know. It's not going to work this round, I'll tell you that. But I, I, I kind of like where it's at. And you know what? It's a little goofy. And I can always respect the run that's a little goofy. Let's get one of them scaling with like a cucumber just to help out. Nothing there appeals to me. Mm, I'll tell you what. Let me get... Oh, we need to stay on... Two gold or more. It's that important. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, take some garlic for now. I know that seems crazy. The jellyfish at this point, like, we don't need to level it up. It, it was mostly just here to ease us into the transition period. Anything from this point onwards it's able to do is gravy, but mostly what it's able to do now is disappoint me, I think. So we are on lethal. I'm going a little spicy mode with it, but you know what? Okay, give me the level two puppy. We have to make a, a smart decision here. I don't think we can justify two geese, but I think we can justify a second goose and then a crocodile that hopefully snipes something like a shark on the back line. And we'll keep the jellyfish frozen in the hopes it can help us. This this puppy is scaling fast enough to help, but our margin of error is like literally zero now. <laughs> so you gotta You gotta make your move pretty quickly. So so far this is okay, but adding a bison to the team maybe would help out a lot if we get the chance. For now, sure, take one of those. Can really only buy one more thing. Sure, level the swan. I mean, it's, it's beautiful if we can uh if we can make it happen, right? Like the puppy's 15, 18, we'll buy some food for it. We're getting two extra gold per turn. So we actually have 10 gold to work with, which is kind of amazing. That's a rarity for me. Can I kill you? I don't think I can kill you. I think you're the strongest unit I've ever seen. 
This one's a disappointment. I really feel like four wins. We were on the cusp of something good. That double puppy play might have been, might have been the kiss of death. But you know what? It happens. It happens. I'll take a frog. Honestly, the frog has been. I've had some of my be a bumbling programmer, um, which is not something to be embarrassed about. That's how you know you. Array out of band, bounds exceptions is just the sort of thing that's guaranteed to happen to you until you l learn to hard code those off by one errors into your brain instead. But what I was going to say is that I feel like the frog is not as bad in this pack because um, there's no mosquito. So a 3-1 that, that can swap some stats and, and maybe has some upside... Um, Especially as it levels up. I mean, the, the big beautiful thing about a frog is that because it's a level one, you tend to get a lot of them in, you know, the first few rounds. Now, if you don't, obviously that kind of flies in the face of this, but how about... I mean, a level, level three frog to swap stats is just like one of the most interesting units in the game. That you can permanently swap stats from like a good unit that has no upside to a unit that has bad stats, like a higher tier unit with bad stats but a great ability. The thing is you need, uh, what, like five extra frogs to get there, so we got some time to go. For now, I would say, let me get an aardvark, and then we will... Well, you know, what? give me a rat first, and then sell you. Give me the reroll. Two swans. What an interesting situation we have here. I'm actually going to sell the frog. I know I talked about how useful it could be. I just don't feel like I can get away with selling our cricket here. The aardvark with the rat. In theory, we should get one extra um, buff on our aardvark. Guaranteed as a result of that. That might not be enough to like really change the game. Oh, this, this one almost hurt, man. This one almost hurt. But it's enough to make the aardvark at least midterm useful, right? Then two extra gold. Sadly, nothing here appeals to me. I would like to stay in the game. So you know what? Buy me a cupcake. Nothing here appeals to me. But I would like to stay in the game. Buy me a croissant. Nothing here appeals to me. This is not a great turn. But if we win, I'll consider it acceptable. 10-11 rat on turn four temporarily. It's honestly just going to do enough to get us there, I think. So maybe it was worth spending six gold to avoid what otherwise would have been like a guaranteed loss. Maybe I'm okay with that. Now, what are we doing? We're going level two swan. I think a donkey is actually pretty good. Cricket is not what it's all about long term. We don't really have anything that works with garlic. A rat being better would be nice, but I don't know if a 5-6 rat gets the job done for us. We're really, at this point, we're relying on the enemies actually spawning units, which is up in the air, <laughs> to, to put it nicely. <laughs> it's a lot of, it doesn't seem like many people other than me are running spawning builds in the, in the current ecosystem. Uh, and I'm only running them because I was kind of forced to by our early shops here. I, I'm very happy to have picked up a win there, but where are we going, man? What are we buffing? Like, a cucumber would be fine if we felt like any of this stuff was going to stick around long term. Instead, I'm, honestly, I'm just going to leverage the fact that we have um, a level 2 swan. And I'm just going to buy these very middling stat upgrades and hope that it continues to allow our rat to favorably trade in a way that maybe lets us do something. Uh-oh. I don't know about this one. Uh, maybe it's actually great. Maybe maybe the donkey saved us. It's a very uninspiring team, though. But still, despite being uninspiring, we are at four wins. Okay, we got to do better. Certainly a 3-4 cricket can leave and get us a hawk instead to make the rat more likely to trade better. I think you can take aardvark and swan. Was kind of hoping for like a better food. Um, the hawk is unlikely to be sold, so let's give it a croissant for now. This team is doing better than I expected, but we're we're just like simmering slow under the surface. This team actually is not that bad for us to go up against either, because they're gonna spawn two more units of their own, which is gonna make our aardvark like crazy strong. 
You're so lucky you have a level two. Otherwise, you knew it. You knew you were going down there. Now, garlic for you, maybe is not bad. First, we need ideally to spawn two rats. Start of battle. Swap attack and health of all pets. Let me run this by you, okay? I don't think it's great for us, or great at all, but I do think it's humorous. Let's just give it a try. I think it's kind of funny, potentially. I can't tell if that was good or bad for us, but I, I do like seeing um, a, a weaker camel. Like, I think that's a positive for us. Um, I don't like seeing a stronger hippo, but we did come out of that somehow. Plus, it had a great sound. It was like... <laughs> I like that. I like that about it. Sure, another level. As much as I think an octopus could go hard, I kind of like the idea of just seeing what happens to this hyena. At level 2. Because what it does is it swaps the position of all pets. I'm assuming that includes our pets. But that may actually, like, not be that bad because we know it's coming. It's like the same as a micro build. Like, a micro build usually ends up being okay for the person running the micro because they can build a turtle, they can build, you know, spawners and stuff like that. I don't know who takes the lemon here is the thing. Uh, this is, okay. I honestly have no idea how this is going to work. Um, I think you have to sell the aardvark. It did not let us get to one more unit, which is very stupid of me. So we'll just roll it down and accept our loss. Um, so this is going to shuffle the position of all units, but like including my own. Let's see. Yes, including my own. We deserve to lose this one, by the way. I, I fully accept that. So a ti let me look at this, okay? A tiger also goes at the start of battle. So I don't think that's going to be any good for us. But what I do think could be good for us is, hold on, what about a Komodo dragon? And who cares if it shuffles position because we're shuffling position anyway? It's good, but I really want to see another Komodo dragon. So every turn we're giving 2-2 two, two to everything and shuffling their positions while also shuffling their positions. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this, but I think it's, it's quite humorous, at least. I'll be honest with you, I, we, we literally just lost because of a rat. That has not happened in a while. It's a very weird one. I don't know if I would recommend this strategy that we appear to have adopted here. I'm looking for useful abilities. How about a chili on you, even though I don't know where you're going to be in the lineup? How about a chili on you, even though I don't know where you're going to be in the lineup? And then freeze, like, stat-based foods, I guess? Okay. You, dude, you got to get a Stegosaurus in there. Come on. I don't know about this team. Um, certainly a very strange one. Did we not shuffle the positions at all? Why do you still have a, a everything's in the exact perfect order to annoy me? Congratulations, you you've you've broken the system. Well, whatever. We still. I'm not gonna complain. We still won. Okay, what are we buffing? I mean, our best unit in terms of like Ross, I guess it will, will buff the Swan. Weirdly enough, I'm not buying a salad. I'll put a lemon on like a on a Swan at this point. That could end up coming in handy I don't really see the popcorn working here that's stats though this was not a great turn for us um, in the shop but I can't help but feel like this run has like a lot of variance associated with it so I'm not necessarily that perturbed by that right off the, right out of the gate there's no way we're killing a 40 40 uh, ostrich though <laughs> all right that was seven but you can take this as copium if you want. That's like a fun seven. That was a, a weird team that I'm, I'm kind of happy with, honestly. Round one, give me two frogs, but two pill bugs for the odd numbered round for sure. Let me let me be a saucy saucy bit. 
You love the saucy bit. When you get to the the between the crust and like where the edge of the cheese is on the pizza, and there's just a little sauce creeping out over the cheese line. Oh man. You know what I'm talking about. This is not a good team. Um, and that's okay. Because I think post this round, it might be good enough to get four wins. <laughs> Please, some levels. There we go. Okay. Now, this starts to get mighty interesting. You level the frog. You get an ox. Certainly hard for me to suggest an ox would not be worth it right here. I would love to... Oh, it, right, we can't really swap stats. I mean, a 2-5 ox? Actually, I think it matters. I think I'd rather do this and then swap the stats of my first frog to my ox. It's a bit unusual. But then I think in time, a level three frog can kind of go. Like, if, if we're able to get there. And we got a ways to go, don't get me wrong. You're, you're so lucky, dude, or I'm so lucky, I'm not sure, but one of us is very lucky. I would say not good enough. You know what I would say? Take one of these and call me in the morning. Take, take a progressive benefit. I don't think we're going to level you. In that, if we're not going to level you, then why don't you just get out of here and give me the swan? I know we've been a little swan heavy. Swan and Flamingo were both like kind of the stars of the show for me today. It's an unusual statement, but it's true, I swear. Oh, thank you. You shouldn't have. You really shouldn't have because you're, you're beating me. And I had my pill bug placed badly. But... Uh, we're we're gonna get one win, man. Come on, we're you know as well as I do. We're gonna get one win at least. This is just the the kind of run. It just takes a minute to peak. Okay. Let me get one of these. I just didn't want you to hit the second frog. That's fine. At least you distributed it nicely. We're going to have a level three frog. I'll settle at a level two pill bug. So the level three frog. It'll, it'll permanently swap stats, which means I, I think the modus operandi there. You want to swap stats off of useless units that are, are only there because they have high stats and swap them on the units with good utility. So I honestly think a good example is a pill bug, even though we could get a level off of it right here. We can use it for one turn. Buy the pill bug. Swap its stats onto an eel so that the eel has 6 HP. And then we can sell a 5-2 pill bug and honestly not feel bad about it at all. A turtle is also another viable option, I think. Very interesting. Very interesting here. We could swap 2-6 off of the swan too, but I don't think that really... I don't think that does what I want it to do. This was great. That was a genius play, if I may say so myself. This is finally, good frog tech. Similarly, you could kind of kickstart a worm, but let's focus here, okay? So we got that nice HP bonus coming back. You want HP. You're going to get sold. You're definitely going to get bought. We're looking for one more unit. We don't need to permanently swap stats. It's only if you want to. I don't really want to swap like the stats of an ox and put it on a squirrel or anything like that. So in this case, I think maybe we're better off just running like frog at the front so there's no swapping. And then just buy a squirrel just as a, as a help me help you and then get your eel to pop a little faster. Obviously, we'd love it to be a level two, but you don't have to use the frog on every turn. 716? That's kind of goaded, man. You piece. You you genius piece. No, no, we're still good. We're still good. Look at this. Okay. Now the squirrel can go. Definitely does feel like a hippo is one of those things that would benefit from the stat bonus. But we don't really have anything that's that statted to kickstart a hippo. 
So I actually think like there's no point to it yet. But I'll, for two gold, I'll give you a fortune cookie. Same with the porcupine. I, I just don't think it fulfills our, our need right now. Everything's still fine here. No permanent good foods. I'll, I'll take some honey as a just in case me. So you're probably saying, NL, you're going to need scaling at some point. I couldn't agree more. Unfortunately, unless we get like a, a, a puppy or something like that, as, as our opponent so uh, deftly acquired, it's very difficult to get scaling in this pack until we get to like, you know, the Komodo dragon. So we got to... Sometimes you get a puppy and sometimes you got to work a little harder. We're working a little harder right now. Definitely, I think some... Just stats are always good. I do think that actually giving Barracuda good stats could be great. But again, I'm realizing we don't really have good stats to give. Like, I don't want to take it off of our eel. I also... This is going to be a little controversial. No, because this will give us a tier 6. That, that could change everything. Gain plus 1, plus 1 for each tier 5 pet or higher in the shop. I think we have to try, at the very least. It is a unit that can scale. I, that's sound, man. Holy cow. Tier fives, please. What? Um, so you're going to get 1-1. One, one. That's not really the kind of the level of stats that I would have thought would be most prudent here, but so be it. it. It is what it is. Please do double damage. Okay, that's fine. Double damage in many ways, I would say, is overrated anyway. Not saved. Confirmed, heavily not saved. We might be going down. We're just scaling so freaking slowly. Freeze me. Roll me. Roll me. We're not just looking for tier fives. We're also just looking for good things. This is a little risky, but you know what? Here we are. Roll me again. Maybe freeze me as a just in case. Okay, I don't really need you, I think. And I, I don't know, I guess I'm going, I'm still, I feel like the eel is just it, the most prudent. It just makes the most sense. We're getting a 4-4 four, four buff on our ostrich. And then we could just focus on using our swan econ to buy more food if we don't die, even though we're very, very likely to die. <laughs> like extremely likely to die. Oh my god, oh my god. The sickness did it. Okay, I got one more in me. Okay, okay, you know what? George is getting a little upset. This time, I'll accept my dog or puppy early, please. Give me one of the, give me the scaling. I, I think it, it's kind of an advanced build, the one that we just screwed up. Maybe a shy bacteria. Um, and I'm, I mean that in like a, like we didn't play it well sort of way. I think what we needed to do if we were going to pursue a level 3 frog was apply as many stats as possible in advance of the level 3 frog coming out. Because what ended up happening, unfortunately, was um, by the time a level 3 frog came out, the frog was our best unit. So we didn't really have the ability to swap anything to anything else. We needed to get like early cucumbers, early croissants, and then have that as a foundation to mix things around, I think. So, so we'll just remember that for the future, hopefully. Now, I will take another bird. I, I do like a bat. I don't love a bat. I like a bat. I wanted to see a level. You know what? You know what? I'm actually going to sell a pill bug and keep two birds. And then I'm going to buy two raccoons. I've been getting a little blown out by melon armor. Not this early, probably. But in the future, I would like to have more melon armor around. For, for as much time as possible. I'll take my draw. We were, we were close on that one. Without a doubt. The, the only thing with a raccoon is that it's so easy for it to fizzle. But let's just hope that doesn't happen. Okay, so we're gonna roll a dromedary and we're gonna keep a camel kind of frozen. Um, the thing is, it'll get buffed by the dromedary. It'll get buffed when we sell our duck. 
One of the most beautiful sentences in the English language. Sell our duck. She said, let's hit the parking lot so I can sick your duck. Big boy, Andre 3000. She trapped in my cadmium palace. Sell me. Buy me. Garlic me, cucumber me. I'm investing heavily in stats, okay? That's what this is all about right here. And I don't know if it's going to get us where we'd like to go. But at the very least, stats are always in style. You're never going to be like so disappointed that, oh, no, yes, that's what, finally, a functional raccoon. You're always going to be, even if you got a bad unit, if it's a 50-50, you're like, it's indispensable. Level me regardless. A parrot. Not necessary, I think. I'll, I'll take one of those. I Don't lean too heavy into the back to meta. We don't really need a level three cricket. It doesn't do that much for us. Let's, let's get some confidence here. Confidence via cupcake. Many people are saying this. Please. Holy cow. There, there, nothing fixes confidence issues like beating a puppy build. Could it be happening? At least early. Early it's possible. Late you gotta, you gotta keep your speed up. Okay, a turtle is just really good. I just don't know where it would fit here. I'll continue taking birds like a fool. Because in many ways, I think that I'm like a bird. I'll only fly away. I'll maybe take a dromedary, but I really want to see a camel. Sans camel? I do struggle to see a long-term future for where this build goes. But that's fine. It's so early, it doesn't necessarily matter that much. Oh, my whole squad is dead, and your jellyfish is incredible. And I have no food to steal. Okay, that was... I've been blown out. Now I really wish that I saved that previous hawk. Because it turns out it might be incredible. Seconds ago, I thought to myself, I don't really need it. Everything's going just fine. Now I look at this and I say, everything is not going just fine. You were incorrect. You know what? Get rid of this cricket while you still can. Put a hawk on the squad instead. I'm going to put it first so that maybe we, we one for one or better with their first unit. And then the camel goes sicko mode on their weak second unit. It did not really work out according to plan, but we won anyway. Four wins. Come on, let me get to seven. Seven is like, is where I can start to feel good about myself. I say no to a turkey. Do you think we could try to build into a rhino? I love, dude, when a rhino works, it's just so satisfying. Could we maybe sell a dromedary, take a rhino, hope it gets buffed by the bird, give you some cucumber for now a s you know what you want to talk about sicko mode I don't know if I would recommend this but I am hoping our camel we're basically like kind of sacrificing our first two positions hoping that our camel is going to get us somewhere hold on it's the perfect rhino build don't look too far into this. I think I was basically just accidentally a genius on this one, and it looks amazing as a result. Stat up that rhino as soon as you can. It's an investment. It's, it's an investment. It's an investment. Maybe? Maybe there's a seven in here? I don't think we're getting to ten, but there might be seven. We might draw against a team that's basically just better than us. That's encouraging. Okay, you gotta take Stegosaurus. I apologize to the raccoon, but you gotta take Stegosaurus. I do appreciate what the... what the raccoon has done for us. I still want this camel to pop. Maybe that's unlikely, but I, I, I am what I am. The rhino is gonna be a 2127 level two that probably needs a lemon more than anything else. We're getting blown out by this hippo. That's unfortunate. And the worst part is, it's probably about to happen again. Roll me. 
trying to think. Is there something we could do from an order perspective? Very important, I think. I'm realizing I don't think our camel's gonna uh, ever get a proc anymore, or it's, it's never gonna get a hurt trigger. I think what we actually want to do is run the rhino closer to the front and hope that we just chain reaction mow everything down. I, I don't think that I see it happening, but I, I do think it gives us like our only chance, and, and there goes our only chance, by the way. Hold, how'd you get a level three octopus and the level two leopard this early? I just, can I see the logs? I just want to see the audit logs, okay? For now, thanks for watching. Like I said, I've got a mental model. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.